Hi, Brent Tech here. Wet Tech is made simple. The latest cumulative update for Windows 10 KB5010342 is now available and started rolling out on the 8th of February 2022. And this is the latest Patch Tuesday cumulative update for the Windows 10 operating system. Now, if you are running version 21H2 of Windows 10, your OS build will now be once you have updated 19044.1526 and if you're on 21H1 that'll be 19043 and if you're on 20H2 that'll be 19042. The 0.1526 stays exactly the same for all supported versions of Windows 10 after applying the update. Now if you'd like to see if you have the update just head to your settings update and security and the Patch Tuesday cumulative updates are downloaded and installed automatically onto your device and you would have to restart your device uh, to apply the update and you can just head over to view update history and that's KB5010342 which is a quality automatic compulsory update for Windows 10. Now this latest update like most Patch Tuesday update updates is a security update and contains 48 security fixes to address 48 vulnerabilities um, in Windows 10, Windows 11 and also across a different um, and wide range of different Microsoft products. As an example, if you're using Office, there will also be security fixes in other um, Microsoft services and products, not just Windows 10 and 11. So in total, this latest Patch Tuesday cumulative update addresses 48 security vulnerabilities. Now, there is one little uh, quality improvement, a little bug fix where uh, there was an issue that was causing the lightweight directory access protocol modify operation to fail if the operation contained the same account name and user account control attributes that has been addressed in KB5010342. And then, as always, the servicing stack has been updated, which is uh, the co component that installs Windows updates onto your device. Now, if we just head down to our other updates, our optional updates in Windows 10, KB5009596 was an optional update that rolled out around about the 25th, 26th of January, and that was an optional bug fix update. And if you didn't install this update, the fixes uh, that were uh, rolled out in this update 5009596 will be uh, carried over into this latest patch tuesday cumulative update and um, just to mention some of those fixes some of those highlights from this update which if you didn't install will now be applied to your device after um, installing this latest patch tuesday update and just to mention some of those fixes quickly uh, internet explorer 11 um, will now notify you about its upcoming retirement. The Japanese input method editor for Office applications um, had a fix to it. It was, um, wasn't working properly um, when you use and uh, when using the new Japanese input method editor. And also the, uh, uh, there was also an issue with the input e uh, method editor using the Chinese text um, would also stop working. That's been also addressed with this optional update. And then the surround sound um, in Microsoft Edge was also fixed. There was a problem there. And also you can also access Microsoft Edge profiles directly now from your news and interests feed. And then also there was a new feature called Sync Your Settings for users uh, who were migrating to Windows 11. That was the original release where it backed up a list of your applications to your Microsoft account, which you could restore when installing Windows 11. And then also uh, Bluetooth devices uh, would stop working when um, trying to connect to a non-functioning Bluetooth device. And that was also addressed with this optional update, which if you didn't install, all those fixes will be carried over into the latest update, KB5010342, which rolled out on the 8th of February 2022. So that's it for the latest Patch Tuesday cumulative update for Windows 10. I hope you found this video useful and once again thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.